Christmas Day is marred by tragedy for the family of pop sensation George Michael. On December 25, 2016, the world was deeply saddened when news broke that the Wham! singer had passed away suddenly at the age of just 53 years old. Just three years later, on exactly the same day, another devastating loss rocked the family, the death of his sister Melanie Padayatu. George's dad, Kiriakos Jack Panayatu, and sister Yuta Panayatu have mourned the loss of three of the most important people in their lives. A close friend from George's childhood believes that such a cycle of tragedy must be down to a curse. The heartbreak began in 1993 when George's first love, Brazilian boyfriend Anselmo Filepa, died at the age of just 33. Get the news you want straight to your inbox. Sign up for a mirror newsletter here. The dress designer lost his life just a year into his relationship with George due to an AIDS related illness. Longtime friend Andros Giorgio believes the singer would still be alive if Annals Mo had not died. George was the love of his life and if he hadn't died I think George would still be here, he told the Mirror this week. After Anselmo, he didn't find real love, he had a lot of sex and met lots of people but he never found what he had with Anselmo. I saw how happy they were. I think he was quite lost after Anselmo died, it hit him hard. Then in 1997, George was devastated when mum Leslie Ang Gold Panayata died from cancer aged 60. Her death plunged the late singer into a deep depression as he struggled to work through his overwhelming grief. In terms of coming close to saying I don't want to live, that would have been after my mum died, he once told The Guardian. I had this overwhelming feeling that the best was behind me. I so loved my mom and respected her. On Christmas Day 2016 came the awful news that George had died at the age of just 53. During the morning, his partner Fadi Fawaz had come to wake George up at their home in Goring on Thames, Oxfordshire, but found his lifeless body in bed. In a statement, Fadi said, we were supposed to be going for Christmas lunch. I went round there to wake him up and he was just gone, lying peacefully in bed. We don't know what happened yet. Everything had been very complicated recently, but George was looking forward to Christmas, and so was I. He later tweeted, it's a Christmas I will never forget finding your partner dead peacefully in bed first thing in the morning. I will never stop missing you 20 an initial postmortem came back as inconclusive and George's friends and family spent weeks without answers or closure. The coroner later found the star, who fought for years to overcome his addictions, had died from heart disease and a fatty liver. George's former partner Kenny Goss said that he believed the pop star's body simply gave up. According to a statement released by Fadi on Instagram in 2018, the pair had fought the day before and slept in separate beds. When George failed to come down from his room on Christmas Day, Fadi said he presumed he was still avoiding him. Then he noticed that the position of George's door hadn't changed and made the gut-wrenching discovery inside. I decided to go and see if he was in. I could see that his right hand was up to his face, with his fist clenched, with his fingers curled against his cheek, he wrote. His face looked normal. I saw that his legs were together but looked tense under the covers. I touched him, but he was cold. I was shaking him and saying, George, George but he was dead. 
George was laid to rest at Highgate Cemetery beside his beloved mum Leslie, leaving behind his father and sisters Melanie and Yoda. Exactly three years to the day of George's tragic passing, tragedy struck once again. Melanie was found dead at her home in Hampstead, North London, which had once belonged to George. A mystery hung over the coincidental circumstances for months, with one family friend claiming Melanie had died of a broken heart after never getting over losing George. A source told The Sun, she had been living as a recluse and only really went out to the hairdressers and post office and occasionally with her older sister Yuda. She stayed indoors, had shopping delivered and rarely left the house. A post-mortem revealed the 55-year-old died as a result of diabetic ketoacidosis caused by lack of insulin and high blood sugar. As well as being diabetic, Melanie, who was extremely close to Michael and joined him on tour with Wham!, was also found to be suffering from hypertensive heart disease, obesity and bronchopneumonia. Before she died, Melanie took it upon herself to send annual letters to George's fans thanking them for their continued support of his legacy and now Yoda has taken up the tradition. A close friend from George's childhood believes the family are cursed. Last year, he told the Mirror, George was cursed. He lost the love of his life, Anselmo. Then his mum died. That was his thing, he always used to say, what have I done? Referring to Melanie's death, he continued, it's impossible, how could this happen? To die the same day as your brother, who had died three years before. I think the family is cursed. I can't get my head round it. Melanie is believed to have been buried with her mum and brother in their unmarked tomb in Highgate. Do you have a story to share? Email webfeatures at trinitamirror.com.